Alrighty, y'all. So it's me. I'm back. Back to the music world. I can't get away from it. But I got my boy T Killer in the studio today, and he's gonna tell us what he has going on. Alrighty, so T Killer, tell the people about your label. I'm sorry, it's not a company, but tell the people about your label and what, and what it is. Uh, we're a generation of music. Um, right now, we're working with about 13 artists. Um, I just want to bring some kind of soul back into the music. You know, just you know, versus like people just going with the wave. I really want to get back to the storytelling. Okay. And uh, versus with our production, uh, we have a mean production team. We're trying to get those classic beats back into what's going on right now. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. I can dig it. Cause I, I like, that's like my favorite artist, Lido Trip. And like people, mm -hmm. I try to put people on them, they're like, I can't get it. Right. Yeah, cause you gotta go back. You gotta don't know back. the story. Right. If you ain't heard the whole story, you're not gonna understand. Exactly. exactly. So I definitely understand that. And then what you wearing today? What's um, this? Um, You know, I have my own publishing company, which is Nonchalant Publishing. Okay. Um, I publish all my artist's music. And um, also I'm in the work of publishing a book right now. Oh, that's awesome. I just had an author earlier, so yeah. Right, I we appreciate gonna, it. We're gonna spin the block again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so I know, I've known T. Killer, because I have to call him T. Killer now. <laughs> um, I've known him for years, and I know you have wore many hats mm -hmm. as far as the music. Right. Tell, give the people a little background. What have you done? What all do you do? Um, I first started out with writing, songwriting, and then I got into recording. Once I got into recording, I wanted to really get into like the whole process of engineering. Okay. So once I learned the engineering, I'm still learning. It's, it's, it's so many aspects of engineering. You know, you did work with different artists. It's different voices you have to mm -hmm. deal with. Um, but really, when I got into making beats, I would say probably about. Ninth grade, when I got into like ninth grade, I was really on the production side, so I was making beats and recording myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, so just to, so we went from writing, rapping, mm -hmm. engineering, making beats, making beats mm -hmm. and recording. Yeah. So that's everything, right? Pretty much everything. You in a nutshell, what you want to do for like you have a music factory. Yeah, so you basically cut out the middleman. Oh, you yeah, can do your own whole, your whole album by yourself. And that's what it's about, about ownership. Um, like far as like music, people don't get what they deserve with their music. So my biggest thing is getting a website where you can buy direct from us so we can mm -hmm. get every penny that we deserve off our music. Okay. Which makes sense with all the way across the board. And make a dollar make sense. Oh now. yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so I know you said you had 13 artists. Mm -hmm. What are y'all doing like a collaboration album? Like what are y'all working on currently? On um, work right now, we got an album out called Generational Volume One, More to Life. Um, right, we have, that's in the beginning stages. We have artists that came on after that, but okay. it's streaming on every platform right now. But the collection of artists that we have, man, it's just a vibe, man. Everybody just relates to one another. All of us get along. It's like more like family. That's what it yeah. feels like to me. Well, that's gonna make some good music. Oh yeah, like, oh that's yeah. That's good, cause that's love. That's love all the way across the board. We we all take constructive criticism. If you know we in the lab, we go through boot camp sessions too, bro. Like I work with artists and I help develop them. So once I get in with them, I lock in with them. Like this is what you want to do, then take me serious. I'm gonna take you serious. You know, right. I go as far as you go with it. But I love. It. <laughs> well, that's that's good. Cause I know uh, it's kind of hard. Well, it's lovely, but it's kind of hard to find something that you can actually wake up every day and love to do. Oh yeah. And then get paid for it. Paid so that's a bonus. It. That's what it's about. Um, you know, Corona hit us hard. So I was working third shift job, man. Like to me, that was like, like a blessing for me. Cause like they gave me more time to work on my company, my music yeah. and get everything structured. So like when we kick off next show, we already got a, like a whole line going right now. Oh. We got projects that's gonna come before this year over with. Okay. Now I know you said um, it's thir now is it all rap or what kind of music do you rap? Have? Uh, right now we're working with a, a R and B singer named Shalice Greggs. Um, she's okay. cold, man. She gave me that Janine Aiko vibe, man. She is so fun. I know Shalice. I've heard her sing before. Um, I yeah, got, she can write. Uh, yeah, she definitely can. Like she did a lot of our hooks that you'll be hearing pretty soon. Okay. Um, I have an artist uh, named Roddy K. He's from Pickens. My boy, man. He, he's, a, he's a white rapper, man. Oh, I was about, boy, I was about to say, but it don't even matter because uh, Biden won today, so yeah, I yeah. can ask because I was just about right, to ask Right, right, right. Like, right, like yeah, where yeah. you get a black dude from Bro, so cool. Like, he, his his demeanor, he just, 
one of them. I can really like portray him like a rock thick, but he's a rapper. Like he had that kind of like swag. Like, exactly. I, can, I can picture it with truck and overall. All day, all day. All day. I it. He, he good peoples too, man. Then I have Tasty Town. She just dropped her EP last Friday. Oh, okay. I developed her from day one, you know, and I, I really locked in with her. Like my, my hands are all over her with her music and what she got going on right now. So you're all in her business. Not all in her business. We keep the business, you know, and you know what I'm saying the personal life separate. You know what I mean? That's that's what I love. Alright, so to have your hands in so much and so many hats and to know everything, I know you have to love it. But what was your inspiration? I mean, how did you actually get into music back then? Back then, I would say my brother's father, man. He just, he always kept me up to date with all the music that was going on back then. I'm talking early 90s, like on okay. up. So I come from the era where the, the Mob Deeds, the Nas, the Tupac, which is my favorite rapper, Jay-Z. I mean, you can go deep to like the females. Like I remember Queen Pan coming up, like even Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, oh, yeah. like I'm from that era. And I'm trying to bring that back what you say? Here. It, it's not here no more, but people are actually listening. Like, I look at artists like Currency. Currency has a cult following. You know what I mean? Yeah, now they do. Anybody who's on it, like Conscious Rap, mm -hmm. they have their following. Right, right, like, right. J. Cole, Kendrick, Cole, all of them. All like, of them. I know everybody not gonna like my music. I don't expect them to, but it's a lot of them that will. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm right. cool with that. You know what I mean? At the share. end of the day. So. I just try to stay up to date with what's going on, but I still want to put some of that old feel back into things. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did talk about a lot. Now, where can the people reach you, your artists? What, like, um, tell me how, how to get at T-Killer. The main thing is our, our Facebook page, uh, Generation of Music, M-U-Z-I-K. Um, we have a YouTube channel, Generation of Music YouTube channel. Okay. Um, any platforms, iTunes, Spotify. If you look, just type in generational music, all of us are all connected with our music. That's okay, what I love. So all the artists it. are on this platform. So yeah. if, you, if you pull up my album, when you scroll down, you'll see who's appeared, like then you got the artist name. So we all linked in with, with one another. So it just makes it good for us. Keep it all in house, even our videos. Um, I try to like, for like ownership, when it comes to getting a video done, like I don't want my video on a, the videographer's page. I want that on our page. So why you control the market with what you got going on? You want to watch our video, you can come on our page, mm -hmm. subscribe, you know what I mean? It's a footprint. It's a footprint. And the main thing with that is just make sure our money is getting collected too mm -hmm. at the end of the day. But that's pretty much it. I get at them, generational music.